Well, there appears to be at least one bright light in the dismal market for new home sales. Business has been picking up for Toll Brothers, which is America's biggest luxury home builder. Sales rose during the second quarter and so did prices. Here with more on the state of housing is the CEO of Toll Brothers, Doug Yearly. He's at the company's headquarters live from Horsham, Pennsylvania. Welcome to In Business. Uh, we're seeing the weakest paced residential construction since World War II, but how do you characterize your portion of the market? It's a little better. We just announced yesterday that our sales are up 7% over last year. Uh, that's much better than the other publics that tend to focus on the um, first time buyer. Uh, we're certainly not out of this yet, but it does feel better. People have been putting their buying decision on hold now for five, six years, and I think time has just caught up with them and they're ready to move on. And we're beginning to get the benefit of that. Yeah, I mean, and in looking at your numbers, about 60% of your business is in that New York to D.C. corridor. You've got a lot of exposure to the financial services industry. Um, you've seen more cash transactions, yet we're also seeing that uh, the compensation packages, the bonuses that Wall Streeters are getting, they're getting less cash in there. So how is that impacting uh, the buying patterns? Well, our best market by far in the country is what we call New York, New Jersey Urban. Right. It's our city living brand. It's in Hoboken, Manhattan, Brooklyn, and that is by far our best performer. So uh, bonuses that m may not be cash, may be more equity, are certainly not affecting us. New York is back. We've seen price increases of about 10% over the last year, and we're thrilled with it. New York may be back, but you look at uh, those Sun Belt states, you look at Florida, what CoreLogic says in the month of May, 20% of sales were foreclosures, or 20% of homes were in foreclosure there. You see numbers less than that on the Northeast. Uh, but the takeaway seems to be that pressure on pricing because of foreclosures is still going to bleed over into all segments of the market. Why do you think that luxury is immune from that? Well, we, we can just base it on our own experience. We're in 50 markets across the country, and we're seeing prices that are either flat or beginning to rise. CoreLogic also said while foreclosure pricing is way down, new home prices are actually up. Our buyers don't generally decide between a foreclosed home, a mm -hmm. distressed home, and a Toll Brothers home. And it's really misleading for all the headlines to suggest that prices are going down. You have to break it apart. You sure. have to look at new homes. And uh, when you do that, I think we're in a much better place. And unfortunately, with those headlines, most buyers are staying at home. They're scared. We'd love to get some headlines to talk about new prices are flat or rising. I think that would get some people back out. You know, I understand that you're saying it's not affecting your higher end portion of the market, but we talk to economists every day uh, here who point out this is the weakest industry in the country. Do you think that the housing industry does need more government support uh, once quantitative easing ends at the end of June? No, I think, you know, last year there was a, a tax credit for, um, for home, home purchases. I think we've all acknowledged now it didn't work, work real well. It just uh, moved forward demand. It didn't bring the economy back. I think if, if uh, the government leaves us alone for the next year or so, we can get ourselves out of this. The big concern now is the discussion of um, uh, the mortgage interest deduction being played right. with, Fannie and, Fre Fannie and Freddie being played with, and again, all of those headlines are scaring buyers. So I think right now, if Washington just backs off, focuses on job growth, and lets house housing heal itself, we'll be okay. All right, Doug, great to get your perspective. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.